What's up, everybody? That's not it. What's up, YouTube? It's Jelly. I am going for a ride on a nice, hot, steamy morning. And I'm going to do a little kind of walkthrough review of the uh, GoPro. I've had a couple days to, you know, kind of get used to it and see what I like, what I don't like. Um, there's not much I don't like. One of the main things is the uh, microphone adapter that I talked about previously. I, I don't like it. And the other day I went out for a ride uh, which lasted a couple of hours. And at some point the wire came loose out of the adapter or the mic and I didn't have audio for the whole second half. What I did was, if you can see, uh, I took the thumb screws out. I don't use the thumb screws anymore, and I went and I bought some metric bolts, and I'll show you those uh, when I get inside of which size to get, but they're perfect. They make it look um, a lot more compact. You don't have those big thumb screws sticking out, and uh, these things tighten down just as good. And uh, But you have to get the right size. If you get them too long, you can't tighten them down. These are the uh, bolts that I bought to replace the thumb screws of the, the uh, GoPro. So as you can see, they're very small and they really make everything look a lot cleaner and nicer. Home Depot, I got eight of these for $3.18. So you have to get this size though, they're M5 um, and then it's uh, 0 0.8 by 20 millimeters. Don't get 22 millimeters uh, because they'll be too long and you won't be able to tighten them down. So, ever built M5 and a 0 0.8 by 20 millimeters. Uh, this forward facing camera that I've got is the Akaso, A K A S O, EK7000. It's a 4K action camera, um, which, you know, it's not a GoPro, but it, the Video quality is pretty good. Now, I'm not recording at 4K. I'm recording at um, 2.7K. And the reason I'm doing that is I can get some higher frame rates uh, with it and also video stabilization. So to the trade-off, yeah, you're not doing 4K, but 2.7K is, isn't bad. I know as well. Not everybody has a 4K display anyway. So I'm going to go for a nice ride. It's, whew, man, 79 degrees already and it's 9 a.m. It's going to be a hot one. So I have to I have to figure out what's wrong with the, the microphone setup that I have because I can't have it coming loose because there's really no way for me to tell when it's when it's uh, when it's recording audio and when it's not. So. Now let's talk about the pluses, the design. I like the design. I like it a little bit better than the Hero 4 because it's smaller. I don't have to have the big bulky waterproof case on it, uh, which is a plus, you know, the smaller the better, uh, in my opinion. I like that it's waterproof uh, without the case. Uh, the uh, case that goes around it to hold it into this mount uh, is very small, it's form fitting, it's not big and bulky, I love it. I like the color of it better. I like that it's not silver. It matches exactly the color of my helmet, which is a plus. So it kind of blends in a little bit better. You know, the touchscreen on the back is is nice. It's not as responsive, I think, uh, as the Hero 4 was, but it gets the job done. You don't really have to use it all that much. All right, I'm having problems with the GoPro, and it's a good thing that I, it's happening while I'm doing the GoPro review video, but it's pausing for whatever reason and turning off and I have a full battery so who knows how much of this has been recorded probably not much I definitely have to work it out because it's that's not gonna work for me maybe I have to turn off the uh, voice control and uh, see if that fixes it maybe it's it's getting commands that it thinks it's hearing and it's not 
So I definitely have to figure that out. Wow, I paused there to try to figure it out and uh, it was showing 101 degrees. Wow, it's a hot day today. A hot time in the old town tonight. So I'm just gonna go ahead and re-say everything that I was saying because I don't even know what was recorded and what wasn't. So complaints about the GoPro. I have to stop saying GoPro because I think the uh, it's listening after I say, I'm gonna say GP just so that there's no confusion or it doesn't do things that I don't want it to do. Because the voice control, which is a plus, and I was saying what a great feature it is, actually might be causing some problems. So I'm gonna use GP and you guys will know what I'm talking about, okay? So I like the voice control of the GP, but during this ride, what is going on here, people? My camera keeps turning off. And I'm not telling it to stop. Yeah, you go with your bad self. And uh, how fitting it happened during my GoPro review. So I'm not going to use the word GoPro anymore because the camera is listening for the, that word. And then it listens to what you say afterwards. And I think that while I do like the voice control feature, I think it's causing me problems because I'm saying GoPro and then it's listening and then I'm saying something else and it's maybe mishearing or misinterpreting what I'm saying and uh, Causing the camera to pause or turn off or to do whatever. Well, where to begin? That's frustrating I'm gonna actually turn it off Turn off that feature so that I don't have any problems in the future uh, While I'm doing these motovlogs, I, I can't hear it beep when I'm at you know Riding speed. I can't hear it beep when it actually stops so, uh, I can't take the risk of not, it not recording at all. So, overall I've been happy with the recording uh, quality of the camera. Uh, it is a step above the Hero 3, or I'm sorry, the Hero 4 Silver that I had. Um, higher resolution recording, um, you know, it, it's, I think the video quality is, is good. You know, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. You know what you're gonna get when you get the GoPro. Um, I don't like how washed out uh, the, it, the picture seems to be. And maybe there's a little too much white balance, but I definitely have to darken the picture a little bit uh, when I'm editing, just because it, it looks a little washed, um, which I'm not a fan of. I don't like how the microphone is attached to the camera. I don't think it's a good design. I think it's, I, I think they should be ashamed of themselves to uh, have made it the way they made it for a company that produces action cameras. Uh, you'd think they'd have a, a good design. To have a, a, a dongle that's so big and bulky when all you're doing is plugging in a 3.5 millimeter microphone, it's it's almost on, it's on the verge of being ridiculous. You know, it's not made for. I mean, when you think action camera, you think doing what? Motor motor vlogs, rock climbing, um, you know, parachute jumping, you know, action. Uh, you don't want to have, if you want to use a microphone other than the one that's built into the camera, you don't want to have to use a huge pack of gum sized, you know, a dongle just to attach the microphone. It's, it's ridiculous. So that would be my number one complaint. It's just, it, it's not implemented very well. I don't know why they couldn't just put a little 3.5 millimeter jack on the side of the, on the side of the unit itself and been done with it. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I don't like the fact that I can't use an extension cable to extend the where I have that box. And I showed you the, uh, the mic adapter on the side uh, of my helmet in the previous video, but 
I would like to stick that underneath the the liner in my helmet. I don't want it to have it stuck to the side of my the side of my helmet, you know. And so I bought extension cables, USB-C extension cables, so I could do just that, and it won't work. It won't allow the signal through if you use an extension cable, which. Great move, GoPro. Thanks a lot. Not only did you make a hideously huge uh, mic adapter just to plug in a microphone, but you make it so you can't even hide it. It doesn't make any sense. But I guess they'll come out with their own extension cable that'll work and they'll charge you $80 for it. The next thing I'm not too thrilled about is the battery life. You know, it, it, these are new batteries. I don't think lithium ion batteries need a, a break in period to actually uh, work better. Maybe they do, but I'm just, I'm disappointed with the battery life. I got recording 4K, I got about uh, 45 minutes um, before it was, oh, they are paving everywhere. I love it. I am so excited that they're repaving all of these roads. What? They paved this too? Oh my gosh. I don't know where all the money came from to replace all the roads, but I am very excited about it. Very, very excited about it. Yeah, so a battery life, after about 45 minutes, I had about 7% left. And uh, I do have multiple batteries. I have about uh, four or five batteries uh, just for that reason, because, you know, there's times where I don't want to just go out for an hour. I want to go out all day and I want to record and not have to worry about it. So I did buy a bunch of batteries. So that solves that problem. But still, eh, a little disappointing with the, uh, the battery life. And I understand they're small batteries. And um, I don't agree that they had to make them different batteries than there were uh, last year with the Hero 4. I mean, I don't know why they couldn't just make it so we're using the same batteries and you don't have to go buy all new stuff, but <laughs> there you go, GoPro. Take advantage of your customers. And they'll find that, you know, GoPro wasn't doing so well. And uh, other companies are going to come in and swoop and take all those customers when you start pinching pennies and, and start taking advantage of your customer base. Now on the plus sides, I like the design. I like the color. I like that it's not silver. You know, it's more of a darker color. It matches my helmet perfectly. And that's, you know, that's a plus for me because of the helmet I have. But I do like that it's darker. It's not as flashy. It's smaller. It's compact. I love that it's waterproof straight out of the box. You know, um, I don't need to put a big case on it. I'm all the way over here. I might as well go take a look at the water. I like coming down to this side because everyone goes down to where the boardwalk is. And even like on the weekends, this is completely just open. No one's here. Now we're at a, you know, it's 90 degrees today. And there's two people on the beach, a couple of people walking. This is the spot right here. Beautiful. I'm going to need another summertime jacket because this one's hot. So you guys met Jack in my previous videos. He's not doing so good. I don't know what is wrong with him. He stopped eating and just is very sad looking. Took him to the vet twice. And they can't figure out what's wrong with me either. So I do like how compact it is. I like that it's waterproof without having to have a case on it. Like you can see the Acaso has the big waterproof case on it, which is very GoPro-like. You know, I'm very happy with this camera. Um, you know, for 80 bucks, it came with every mount you could ever need. It came with two batteries, a, a case. Um, you know, if these Chinese companies can make a decent camera, they're going to put GoPro out of business because they don't have any business charging $400 for a GoPro. That comes with nothing. You know, it comes with a battery and what? You know, a, a mount. So for 80 bucks on Amazon, the Acaso EK7000 was a great value and I think takes good video. It doesn't take low light video good at all. I mean, it's horrible. 
a lot of artifacts and just nastiness uh, at night. But during the day, I think it takes really good video. Uh, and speaking of uh, video quality, if you guys have any experience with GoPros and you can tell me some settings that will let me just set it and forget it, you see the type of riding I do. You see what kind of uh, conditions I ride in. I don't generally ride at night. I don't ride uh, when it's real cloudy. I, I ride in blue sky, sunny days, and uh, you know, just like this. The same time of day, sometimes in the evening, um, but not, not too often. And I just want a setting that will look good for this type of uh, riding. And I want to set it and forget it, because I, I don't want to go mess with settings every ride based on how it looks outside. So if you know any any general settings that are good uh, that you can let me know, please uh, leave them in the comments below. This is an HJC. Okay. HJC. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I like this helmet. This is probably one of the more comfortable ones. You know. She's got a camera on there. Oh yeah. I said everybody does that now to protect their butt. Absolutely. I got. I have a couple of them. Nope. No trips. What is going on? Go to Florida. Why are you up here? Now, would I recommend the Hero 5 for moto vlogging? No, I wouldn't. And for the sole reason that the mic adapter is uh, completely unnecessary, uh, completely just poorly designed. And the Hero 4 uh, Black records in 4K and has a mic adapter that you can easily hide. It's a tiny wire. So I would just stick with the Hero 4 Black you know, um, for moto vlogging. Yeah, you do have to put it in a, um, a waterproof case or a case, but that's okay too, because you know, things are getting kicked up by cars. You know, you get hit with a rock right to the lens. You know, you're gonna have to replace the lens. Whereas if it's in a case, you don't have to worry about it so much, you know? So anyway, that's just my opinion. Uh, if you know of any settings that I could, you know, set this camera at to make it look better, uh, please, please share, and uh, I thank you guys for uh, watching the video, and if you're not subscribed, please subscribe, and if you could like up the video, I'd appreciate it, and I will see you next time. Take care, guys.